You boys haven't been paying attention. Do you genuinely think I wasn't worried about false steroid accusations nine months ago? Seriously, what were the possible scenarios? One, I look like shit and people make fun of me, rub it in my face that they were right. Two, I look good and they still try to discredit me in any way imaginable. Most recently it's the fake steroid accusation, but throughout the past nine months, apparently everyone is an expert on workout form and mine's no good. We can address the form later, but the bigger concern is the steroid accusation. Now I think everyone understands that bodybuilding is a huge time and money investment, two hours in the gym every day, all this food, it's exhausting. And if one was to do it naturally, you know, spending a few hundred dollars on a drug test a few times per year seems like a no brainer. I think anyone that uses money as an excuse to not get drug tested as a natural bodybuilder is lying. Come to think of it, I've never seen one of these natural bodybuilders post a drug test. What usually happens is they get bunched into one of two categories, the fake naturals and the real naturals. Basically, if the general population thinks they're too muscular, they're a fake natural. Either way, it pans out in a similar fashion. Someone with a large social media platform that's jealous or has some type of vendetta, makes a steroid accusation, then the person gets put in a tough position. Whenever someone calls you out, whenever someone makes the first move, when you're on the defense, it seems like you've already lost because there's a large percentage of people that will take whatever was said first at face value and never change their mind. Uh, so, you know, I'm stuck in a position where I'm defending myself and there usually ends up being a bunch of drama back and forth between the accuser and the natural. The recent Athlete X stuff uh, with Jeff Cavalier is a good example. People accused Jeff of using steroids, but then when Jeff stepped up to the plate, told them he would get drug tested if they paid for it, everyone kind of backed down and apologized. I think this was all planned and orchestrated, acting on both sides to get publicity for everyone involved, but this is all that ever happens. The person will either agree or disagree to the drug test. If they agree to the drug test, everyone backs down as what happened and the person is lumped into the real natural category. If the person ignores the drug test request or denies getting drug tested, they get lumped into the fake natty category. Either way, it's just a bunch of chest puffing and bullshit. If you're a fitness influencer and you claim natural, if you don't have drug tests from when you started your YouTube or social media, I would call you a fake natty. It's one thing if you lifted weights for a couple years before starting social media, but the first thing that would come to mind of a true natural that is marketing themselves towards a mass public is to get drug tested because it doesn't make sense not to. You spend a few hundred bucks and that will pay itself back in thousands for your reputation, for your honesty, for your integrity. It's so easy, it's ridiculous. Get some blood work every few months to prove your natural status and you don't have any clowns accusing you then. And if you morons want to say that you can fake a drug test, you can, but you can't fake your testosterone over that period of time. You can't fake your hormone levels. If you test a steroid panel and those hormones over several month increments, there is no way for someone to accuse you of being on any sort of substance. So these tests cost me $600 total and I actually wish I did a third one in between. The first was on December 30th, 2019, which is roughly three months into my fitness transformation. And the second one was just last month on July 24th, about 10 months in. As you can see, I am negative for all anabolic steroids and my testosterone ratios are normal. I even got my FSH and LH tested to show that I wasn't taking anything else as those can be low when using artificial substances. Any vegan with a semblance of muscle mass is shooting testosterone up their ass every week. Every one of those naturals that doesn't have a drug test for whatever reason are shooting testosterone up their ass every week. From a logical cost, time investment standpoint, there is no excuse, no excuse at all to not have your own drug test. Listen, 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 I get it, I get it. All of you gay boys are in a little club together, you're upset I'm not playing in the sauna with you and you're getting paid to harass 
and discredit me all day because I compromise your businesses that have zero integrity. And I hate to break it to you guys, but you can't discredit someone who looks like they were carved by Michelangelo, like I should be standing by Zeus himself. You guys are wasting your time. You really are. Now, Frank, how have you done this unbelievable transformation over nine months? How do you look like you should stand by Zeus that you were carved by Michelangelo while training like a sissy la la fairy boy and not knowing anything about weightlifting? Hey, I hate to break it to you guys, but I bodybuilded for about eight years and that muscle memory is irreplaceable. I'm sure some of you know Kevin Lavrone's transformation, how much muscle he put on in just a year. That's a good testament to muscle memory. People don't understand that once you build a certain amount of mass, it comes back incredibly quickly. And even with muscle memory, most people would take a little bit longer due to modern training methods and beliefs. I would say, you know, three to four years to build my physique with that BS five by five bro split routine. I do four to five times as much volume in my training routine as the average person, and my diet is as clean and nutritious as possible for bodybuilding. Pure muscle synthesis from two pounds of red meat every day with a readily available glucose source in the form of some mysterious honey-like carbohydrate that I'll share with you guys eventually. That combined with a specific mineral and vitamin protocol, I am giving my body every raw material needed, no creatine, no steroids, I don't even know what SARMs are. Some of you guys say I use SARMs, I, haven't even, I don't even know what they are. 100% uh, clean and natural, I won't even touch creatine. That's how legitimate I wanna do this. I will say my sleep hasn't been that great. I mean, it's been horrible on a good night, four hours, most nights no sleep. I would imagine my progress would be so much better if I had slept well. And that's why I'm continuing this bodybuilding bullshit probably for another year and a half, two years, because I want to feel good for a decent period of time while doing this to see where I can get. And I really believe that the majority of a person's natural potential can be reached in just a couple years on the proper training routine. And I'm here to prove that. Overall, I'm disappointed there's such a large amount of losers being paid to discredit me. And then there's people popping out of the woodwork copying my ideas, using their connections to promote it. And I expect the same thing to happen with my fitness routines. I expect people to discredit my physique, say my form is terrible, and one of these other fitness influencers, as soon as I come out with my routine, are gonna be spouting the same BS and people are gonna eat it up. That's how these people operate. They steal other people's ideas, they use their connections to push those people under the rug and promote themselves. It's unfortunate that the world is such a negative place and that uh, people can't run a genuine business, but I'm dealing with it the best I can and I, I really just you know, want to help you guys, you know, put you guys in a similar position where you're happy and healthy, you're working out, you're achieving your goals. It just seems like everyone's against me because they want to make money for themselves and, and that's the truth about it. Uh, so, you know, definitely a weird spot to be in, but uh, I always laugh when everyone needs to copy Frank Tofano to stay relevant. Uh, they know who's in charge. So thank you boys for joining me today. Uh, if you could please like the video, leave a comment down below, share the video on social media if you can. If you do want to support me further, you know how to do so down in the description. Thanks again for joining me today, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video. If I don't die of steroid overdose.